Good morning, everyone. Jeanette Byro here. I am a medium and a channeler, and welcome to your weekday daily card reading from Spirit. It is Friday. We are sitting right on the cusp of a new moon, of a solar eclipse. Holy smokes, that's a ton of energy. So I just want to start off by saying if you are feeling it, if you're tired, if you're feeling wired, oh man, extra triggered or super extra floaty zen, uh, it's really connected to the moon energy and the solar eclipse. Remembering that this solar eclipse is bringing that closure energy to um, everything that was kind of opened in the lunar eclipse during the full moon. So now we're hitting the new moon and closing that out with new intentions, new everything. Like we are right on these, like this balance between endings and new beginnings and endings and new beginnings. And, you know, we're at the ending of a year being this December month, cusping on new beginnings. Like it's a very transformative energy that we are sitting in. So uh, curious how you guys are feeling, but let's tune into the cards here. I'm using the wisdom of Oracle cards by Col uh, Colette Baron Reed. And uh, as always, I do want to say that I do use these cards for these kinds of readings because I think they're great, a great thing to have, great visuals. Uh, for regular mediumship readings, I just go straight to spirit. But um, let's dive in and let's see. Okay. Mm, I like this. Okay, cool. So we have the never ending story card followed by TikTok, which is kind of funny. Uh, and then followed by poised. This card, I really like this card when I see this in a poll. So this is really cool. So never ending story. This talks all about the repeated patterns that you've seen and the things in your life that you are kind of like, ah, I'm really tired of it. This never ending story has the ability to end doesn't have to be a never ending story, especially in the energy we're in right now. Remember, we're in this fiery energy, which is transformation. We are hitting a solar eclipse new moon, which is transformation endings. And we're in December, which is endings, transformation. So this card is really saying, what are you ready to wrap up? If you're ready to wrap up something, you totally can and shift from that position of, look at this, this girl is sitting there, her wings are down and she's like, man, this is never over. We have the ability to shift from this position to look at this girl, poised, meaning ready, ready right now. Wings are up, arms are up. She's celebrating because she is poised and ready for these changes. So you really are in the driver's seat of these changes by how you are maneuvering your energy, the choices you're making, uh, the intents you're setting. Right here, you hold the power of one versus the other. So here's the key piece. When you feel ready to make your decision, your choice, your focus, your intent, whatever you want that to be, then you have to sit in an energy of this TikTok card. And this is not about <laughs> dancing on TikTok. This is about having patience and waiting, about setting your intentions free, putting them out into the universe, and then seeing how the universe is going to co-create with you to bring that forward. Remembering that co-creation requires you to take a first step. Sometimes that first step is setting the intention. Sometimes that first step, though, is a real action point. Like maybe it is making a phone call. Maybe it is sending a letter. Maybe it is starting a new platform for something. You make the first step, though, based on the intention set. Okay? And then see how the universe is going to come in. Because if you are doing this from a state of poised, then you are putting it out there with this beautiful ripple into the universe that you are ready. Whereas if you're going to sit in an energy of this keeps happening to me, poor me, victimhood, you're going to keep bringing that back. So very much a choice point. I think this is absolutely accurate and precise for today, considering that a new moon is an opportunity for uh, new intentions being set of what you want to build and grow during, during this lunar cycle. So now is like the optimum, optimum time. Plus, solar eclipse is all about sun bursting forth new changes, new beginnings, like amplifying the energy of this new moon. It doesn't get better than that. So really, make your best attempt at putting your best foot forward so that you can be this lady with her wings up versus the one with the wings down. I know that's what I'm definitely going to focus on. And so 
Some of the ways that you can do that, one of the most simplest ways you can do that about adding extra intent to what you're creating. If you have time today, tonight, is find a candle and in the candle, if you can use like a pen or a pin or whatever in the candle, whether it's on top where the flat part is, or if you have a long candle and you put it on the side, is draw a design based on what you want. Say what you want to manifest is more love and compassion in your life. Put a heart in that candle. And as you're drawing that candle or that heart, set in your mind an intent that I am doing this to really reinforce visually this intent of love that I want to bring into my life. Then you light the candle and the candle represents this fiery energy of Sagittarius that we're in plus solar eclipse energy, light the candle. And as you watch that candle burn and melt that image that you inscribe back into kind of liquid, you can feel that that energy of what you're putting out is extra amplified and intended. When we take these extra action points to really reinforce the energy we're putting forward, it helps to send out this literal like ripple or kind of like supernova energy that goes into the universe and creates these ripples so that the universe has heard and received your message. It's really powerful. It really is. Trust me. So consider doing that today. Today is perfect day for it. Great cards for this day. So I hope that feels as inspiring to you as it is to me because I feel super jazzed and charged by that. So I'll leave you guys with that for today. Uh, thank you so much as always for joining. If you're new to my channel, thank you. And uh, please do subscribe and share. And for everything else, you guys check out avalonspirit.com. If you are wanting to really expand your consciousness, find different pathways to you know, better discover self and who you are. Uh, there's lots of offerings on there, different journey guides to help you on your path. So I will leave it at that. Have a beautiful weekend. Happy new moon and solar eclipse.